In this video, we'll look at creating a slideshow movie using the Picasa 3 software. After opening the software, you need to first import the photos that you'll be using for your movie. It's possible they will be listed here on the left, and if not, select the import button, select folder from this drop down menu here, and then browse to the folder where your images are stored. This could be on a USB drive or maybe even on your H drive. Once your images show up, select all the images by dragging a box around them, choose to import them to the My Pictures folder, select either option here, and then choose Import All. Your pictures should now show up in the main library window. After your images are in the main library window, we now need to select which images we'll use in our movie. You can click and drag a box around all images you'd like to appear in the movie, or you can individually click on an image, and if you'd like to select more than one image, you can hold the control key down on your keyboard while you click on images to select them for your movie. In this case, we'll choose all images. Once you have your images selected, hover over this button and click Create Movie Presentation. After your images are in the movie, you need to first arrange the images in the order in which you'd like them to appear. To do so, simply click and drag the images here at the bottom to get them into the order that you'd like. Once you're happy with the order, you can proceed to the next step. Your movie will automatically come with a title slide here. To change the text on the title slide, select the Slide tab from the left, go to the text field here at the bottom, and enter the text that you would like to appear on your title slide. You can edit the appearance of your title slide by changing the font in this menu, the font size in this menu, you can select bold italicized or shadows, and you can even change the text color and background color to your liking. If you'd like to add an all text slide to your movie, you can do so using this button here. Clicking that button will add a text slide after the slide that you are currently on. Once that slide is in, again, if you need to move it around, you can do so by clicking and dragging. You can edit the text of that slide just as you did with the title slide, using all of the features here on the left side. Make sure that you have that slide highlighted and that you're on the slide tab here at the top in order to edit the text for that particular slide. You can also add text directly to an image itself. First, browse the image on which you'd like to add the text. Make sure that you're on the slide tab here on the left. In the blank area here on the left, you can add the text that you'd like to appear on the slide. Once the text is in, again, you can control the text using the characteristics here at the top. You can change the font, the size, and the text color to something that will appear nice on your slide. You can also change to some degree where the text appears in the slide using the template drop-down menu here. The various options here will change how that text appears in the slide. Once your images and text are set for your movie, it's time to set the movie options. Select the movie tab here at the left. If you'd like to add an audio track, click load here at the left. Browse to a folder where you have music and select the music file you'd like to attach. The music must be either in MP3 or WMA format. Once the music is added, you need to set the music options. It's advisable to use the truncate audio option. This will allow you to control how long your slides last in the movie and will just cut the music off once the slides are done. You can change how long each slide is on the screen using this slider here at the top. The maximum value is 10 seconds. If you'd like, you can change the transition style between slides using this drop-down menu. You can also select how much each slide overlaps the next one using this slider. You can leave the default dimensions as 640 by 480 for most applications. Finally, you can toggle whether to show captions or not if you have included captions in your, in your movie. At this point, you can now create your movie, either using the Create Movie button or if you are uploading to YouTube, you can click the YouTube button here. We'll now upload our video to YouTube. In order to upload your video to YouTube, you need to sign in using a Google account. Once you sign in, you need to select your title, description, category, tags for your video. Be sure to select to make the video public. 
so you can show this video and share this video in class. Once all your options here are set at the top, select Upload Video here at the bottom. A progress bar will be displayed in the bottom right hand corner of your screen while the movie is being created. Once your movie is created, it will begin playing your movie here in this screen so you can see what it looks like. The last step is to share your video with others. To do so, you need to know where your video is on YouTube. To find your video's URL, go to YouTube and select Sign In here at the top. Use the same account that you used to create your video and select Sign In. Once you are signed in, browse your account here at the top and select your video manager. Here you'll see a list of all the videos that you have created. Click on the video to begin watching it and as you're watching it you can now find the URL for your video here at the top. This is the address that you need to share with your teacher or other students when you want to share this video with others.